Well, <clears throat> first of all, I want to thank the NAACP uh, and everybody that has come here today. You don't have to be here in August on a Saturday. This speaks volumes for Brockton. It really does. And it doesn't matter what candidate you're supporting, you're engaged because you care about the city of Champions, you care about the community. I'm Bob Sullivan. I've proudly served as a counselor at large for the last 14 years. And out of those 14 years, four times I was elected by my peers to be the city council president. That's something I'm awfully proud of. But you know what the number one thing is? I'm a Brocktonian. I married a Brocktonian, and we're raising three beautiful children here in the city of Champions. They go to Procton Public Schools and Trinity Catholic Academy, and I'm a proud communicant of the Tri-Parish Our Lady of Lords. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? This is what it's about. When you elect a mayor, in essence, you're electing the CEO of a business, a business that's over $400 million. That's what it was this year. I've served 14 budgets. I've served with four different mayors. And I think when you go to the polls on September 17th, you need to look at qualifications and leadership. My slogan is leadership for Brockton's future. Leadership for Brockton's future. We need to make sure the good investment that's happening right now in downtown is continuing. That train needs to continue down the track, ladies and gentlemen. But we need to expand all around throughout the city of Brockton. I went to Brockton High. My dad was a Brockton High teacher for 30 years. My wife went here. You know, at the end of the day, we need to make sure that the classroom sizes are, are, are capable that the teachers can address. When there's 35 or 38 kids in a classroom, not good for the kids and sure not good for the teachers. We need to make sure we're getting our fair funding, Chapter 90, Chapter 70, the lottery funds. These are things that I, I know how to do. I know how to work because that's why I ran. In 2005, people said, don't waste your time, Sullivan. You're not one of the old boys. No, I'm not. I knock on doors and I say, what you see is what you get. I want to give back to the community. I've done it. And now I believe it's the time for me to run for mayor. Some people have said, well, you supported Sanctuary City. First of all, let me clarify that. It was called the Brockton United Ordinance. Okay? That's what it was called. And as the only lawyer on the Ordinance Committee, and I chaired the Ordinance Committee, I said no, I voted no because there was a clause in there that violated federal law. When it came back to the full city council, it did not pass to a third reading. It failed, it didn't go anywhere, it's dead. But let's just listen. There was a reason why that was submitted. Because people don't feel like they have a voice. They really don't. At the end of the day, listen, it's about being inclusive. It's about electing someone that says, I wanna hear from you. You have ideas that I don't have, but let's share. Let's sit at the table and say, listen, Brockton's awesome, but we can do better. We can do better. So wh what I think, and my wife sometimes says, Bob, you get, you get up there, you get crazy. But I, I care. <laughs> no, that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. It's 5 o'clock on a Saturday. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a lot of time, but my website is www.electrobertsullivan.com, okay? And I would encourage you and plead, look it over. You'll have suggestions, criticisms. That's why I serve. So on September 17th, I'm humbly asking you, Please consider voting for me, Robert Sullivan, next mayor of the city of Brockton. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you.